I can do for you to make it up, I will. But uh, like I'm telling you, man, people had me wrote off saying he ain't going to do nothing in life. Look at him. He ain't number no drug dealer. Look at him. He ain't number no womanizer. But I'm going to tell you. You can keep believing all that old snakes, they say stuff all you want to. It don't matter to a hill of beans, they say in the old days. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't amount to anything at all. But I'm still holding on to his word. Man, I'm telling you, man, when you get yourself, you can hear everything that's clear out there in the, in the, in the world now. You can see things and do things. And I, I had a bad anxiety problem where I couldn't even be around people unless I was drunk. But I'm telling you, man, get yourself together, man, and do something good for yourself before life passes up. You know, we ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't just over here. We ain't here for nothing. We're going to die sooner or later. So if you want a legacy to leave, leave something positive. Leave something that somebody can say, yeah, he did straighten up. He did do something right for a change. He was a good dude. And then, like I was telling you why I say that and do that cooking for people, I ain't been around people, you know, get decent people in my life for 10 years. Now that I'm high, I love it. I don't have to do this. Then don't get me wrong. I don't have to do none of this. I don't have to buy no food because I love doing it. I love all of y'all. This is Big Bob, y'all. I love it. This is the best life when you get yourself together and realize you can't keep just making the same mistakes. And sooner or later, you got to change for the better. When you realize that, then you you you, you, you good, man. You can just sleep, sleep peacefully. You can wake up smiling, happy, singing all the time, saying he is a soul protector. But I'm just saying, man, I just like to talk on this thing because, uh, man, life is good, man. I mean, when you calling your mom at 4, 5 in the morning trying to bring you some food, come on, man, get up and get to catch the bus. My mama called the bus when she worked at Central Park early in the morning. You got some lazy people out here, man, don't want to do nothing, man. What if mama wasn't there? What if your mama wasn't there? Then what you going to do? What if daddy wasn't there? Then what you going to do? You can't keep depending on your parents when you're 30 and 40 years old. That's for kids under 10 to me. The tens over ten still depend on them, but they don't fit that you like an infant, you acting like an infant. Come on, man. Get yourself together, man, and quit calling your mama, man, late at night wearing her. And want her to come out of bed in the cold to bring a grown man something. It don't make no common sense. That just pisses me off right there. And I I know I I I, I witnessed it firsthand. I ain't just talking about it. I know about it. So I just want to tell y'all, y'all, I'm having a big old birthday bash in uh, uh, March the 14th at my house at 7 o'clock. So y'all come join the big boy. I'll be 48 years old, man. Shoot, I'm about to hit the big 5-0. And uh, we're going we're gonna to have a nice, cool, calm time. No no rowdiness. Uh, you know, we, we, we out here, me and Jimmy Grill. We'll put y'all up out of here now. Don't come over here acting no fool. Not that we better than nobody, but be grown sometimes. Why you got to go everywhere act like a, che- a, a, a wild kid, a, a thundercat? Why you got to go up everywhere you go, you got to show out? They used to say that about me. <laughs> oh, Lord, they ain't come. But I done got old, uh, fat, and, and, and knees bad and everything. So I am just I just love everybody. I like to get on and show some love, tell y'all that I love y'all. Lanika, come on down. Tracy Jordan. You know, Phil Booker, Eddie Wisdom, his wife, all y'all come on down, holler at your boy. We'll be out. We're going to have a soul food fest. Big old thing. Big old soul food. Every soul food your mama or grandma ever cooked going to be on the table. We're going to get down. So, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all have a wonderful getting right there for the snow finna come in here now. We're going to get prepared because it's going down. I'm off for two days. Guess me and Paul will be talking to each other later on. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But uh, I just want everybody to know if I ever done anything to any of y'all, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. And um, one more thing. I'm through playing. I got myself together. 
and I'm looking for my nice wife, a nice young lady to hang out with. Serious, being serious, yeah, being serious. I'm going to try to settle. Oh, big boy going to try to settle down, y'all. And try to find me. Now, I ain't shopping online and in these clubs and nothing for no woman. But I like to take a little lady out or something, you know, for dinner or something. You know, we hang out, go to the movies or something. So that's what my plans is for this year. I'm planning on being hooked up. Not married, but hooked up and, you know, chilling with somebody, traveling and having fun, enjoying life for once in my life. And uh, God's been good to me. And I appreciate it every day. And I pray for y'all. And I ask y'all to pray for Big Bob. Goodbye.